it's slime time welcome back to my channel unless you're new then a big welcome to you this week i am actually getting over a cold so i am sorry if my voice sounds kind of weird this week i'm going to be showing you guys how to make five super basic slimes using gel glue we will be making phloem pearl slime a jelly slime a glitter slime and a gold leaf slime so if you guys want to see how to make these five super cool slimes, just keep watching. The ingredients that you guys will be needing for all five of these slime recipes will be Elmer's Gel Glue. I'd recommend Elmer's because one, it's non-toxic and two, I know it works with this activator. Activator, I'm using a half a teaspoon of borax dissolved in a cup of hot water because Elmer's Gel Glue tends to run a little bit thicker than normal glues a mixing bowl and a mixing utensil, and an airtight container. On to the base gel glue slime recipe. Your first step is to add in your desired amount of gel glue. The gel glue looks something like this. It's very thick and transparent and has a very nice light blue tint to it. So you guys know the drill. You're basically going to just slowly add in your slime activator and then mix slash knead in between until your slime is no longer sticky. This gel glue tends to get stickier after you activate it, so you just have to keep going back and forth between the activator and then mixing until you finally reach the right texture. So this is the final product of the base slime. It is so cool. It looks really pretty and it's super stretchy and holds great bubbles. It's also pokeable and just so awesome to play with. It is such a great texture even before adding in all the add-ons. I totally recommend this base gel glue slime recipe as well. Also, make sure to store your slime in an airtight container for five to seven days to allow the slime to clear up and to make sure that your slime doesn't dry out. On to the gel glue phloem recipe. Basically, what I'm doing right now is just adding in my desired amount of foam balls. I decided to use pink, white, and blue foam balls to look like cotton candy colors, and it matches the gel glue slime color really well. So, your slime texture that you want before you add them into the foam balls is slightly sticky, depending on how many foam balls you want to add in. I'm not going to have mine super packed and super crunchy, so mine isn't that sticky. But you can just kind of gauge how many foam balls and how sticky you want your slime. So right here I am just mixing in all the foam balls until I reach my desired texture. This is the final product that I got. I really love it. It isn't super, super crunchy like a traditional foam, but I do love the texture that the foam balls give. Once again, make sure to store your slime in an airtight container for five to seven days to allow the slime to clear up a little bit and to make sure that your slime doesn't dry out. On to the gold leaf slime. The extra ingredient that you'll be needing for this slime are these little gold leaf sheets. I got mine off of Amazon, a pack of like 300 for 10 bucks, which I think is a really good deal. I'm using gold, silver, and rose gold. So this is the base slime that I'm going to be adding the gold leaf pieces to. I'm actually going to wait for this slime to clear up because it's a lot more satisfying adding in the gold leaf to a clear slime opposed to this cloudy slime. So once again, just make sure to store your slime in an airtight container to prevent it from drying out and so it can clear up. On to the pearly slime. So you're gonna make this slime a little bit different than the other slimes. You are first going to add in your desired amount of gel glue. Then I'm using this pearl pigment. I got it off of Amazon and it is super, super cute and it makes the slime look so gorgeous. Right here I'm just adding in my desired amount. There's no approximate amount, just depending on how you like the color of your slime. And then you're just going to mix that all in until you get your desired color. Basically, when you're done mixing it in, that color should be pretty similar to the final product you'll get after your slime clears up. I just love pearl pigments so much because they make such a basic slime look so pretty. 
So this is the final product of the Pearl Slime after activating. I know it looks a little bit deceiving. It kind of looks like a white face slime tinted blue, but it isn't. Once it clears up, it'll look so much better. Don't worry. So I know I've already said this a million times, but make sure to store your slime in an airtight container to prevent it from drying out and to allow it to clear up and show off that beautiful pearliness. Up next we have the Glitter Slime. The add-ons I'll be using for this slime will be these Recollection Glitters. These glitters are so gorgeous and you can find them at Michael's. I will be using yellow, pink, and blue from the color wheel. Your first step is to add in your desired amount of gel glue. Then you are just going to add in your desired assorted glitters. I really love this slime because it's super basic, but it also looks super, super pretty. Then you're just gonna mix it all together. And this part is so satisfying. It looks so pretty. So this is my slime after activating. I know it doesn't look as pretty, but once it clears up, it'll look just as good. This slime basically just has that standard gel glue slime texture. So I hate to repeat myself again, but make sure to store your slime in an airtight container. Haha, <laughs> bet you didn't know that. And make sure to let it sit for five to seven days so it can clear up and you can get the beautiful glitter slime gorgeousness. So last, but definitely not least, we have the jelly slime. And this slime is kind of all over the place. I'll explain though. So what happened is basically I lost the footage, number one. Number two, when I was making it, when I added in the fake snow, it took away a lot of the blue color from the gel slime. So I decided to add in some food coloring. That food coloring was absolutely way too dark and that's why the slime looks like a completely different color. It doesn't even look like it belongs in the gel glue slime family, but I swear it's gel glue. I also had my gold leaf nearby for the gold leaf slime and yep, you guessed it, the slime fell into the gold leaf and now it is gold leaf in it, yeah, it's a hot mess. <laughs> But basically the recipe for this slime is for every five ounces of gel glue, you're gonna add in a teaspoon of fake snow or instant snow powder, and then activate like normal. This slime is actually inspired by Andrea, also known as Peachy Babies. It is a super putty-like texture and is kind of based on her cloud slime recipe, but a lot closer to a slime than a cloud slime, if that makes any sense at all. It is semi-spreadable, super thick, super stretchy. It's like a dream to play with. Right here we have the Floam after clearing up. This is so satisfying to push all the beads down after it clears up. And look how gorgeous that was, the little colors. And you can see that the foam balls actually kind of rubbed off in the slime, so now it has this like purplish pinky tint but I think it's still super pretty. I've noticed with gel glue, after letting it sit for a little bit, it does tend to get a little bit sticky, so I definitely recommend having activator on hand in case you run into the same problem as I did. Yeah, it got a little sticky. If you do want a stronger crunch, you can add in more foam balls, but like I said earlier, I like this soft crunch, and still, it's pretty stretchy and crunchy and it holds a lot of bubbles in it, and I just love this texture right now. So this part was so exciting and so much fun to do. I had actually been waiting a whole week to do this, and I was so excited when I finally got to do it. You basically just take the gold leaf and lightly sprinkle it onto the slime because it is super, super delicate. And look how satisfying it is mixing it in. It just crumbles at your fingertips and it looks so good when you're mixing it in. I'm noticing that I'm seeing a lot of these gold leaf slimes all over my slime Instagram feed. And all of those videos look so good and I decided to put my own little spin on it by using gel glue like it says in the title for this tutorial. Texture wise, it just has the standard gel glue slime texture, but I'm not really worried about the texture. It is more the look of the slime. It just looks so pretty and it's so aesthetically pleasing and I love it. 
right here we have the pearly slime. Once again, this isn't a slime that I'm really focused on textures with. It just has that standard gel glue slime texture, but definitely the look of the slime is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Between this light blue color, it looks like regular H2O, and it just has the pearl pigments in it, which make it look so good. I can't even explain to you. And when you drizzle it, since the pearl pigments are in it, it gives that like layery type look. Yeah, nobody knows what I'm talking about, I'm sure. But I don't even know where to start with this slime. It like shines like a diamond in the sky. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, yeah, don't mind me. I'm sleep deprived and kind of in cloud nine. Just look at the slime and admire it. It's so pretty. Last, but definitely not least, here's the glitter slime after clearing up. It kind of looks like I'm poking into the water from Hawaii or the Bahamas. It is so clear. I don't even know where to start. But it just has that standard gel glue slime texture, again. But these glitters really top off this slime. They like blend into each other and they're just the perfect combination of colors. I am so happy with the way this slime turned out. I love it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below and the little post notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. By doing this, you'll become a member of the hashtag notification squad and one of my timers. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be sure to see y'all next week. Bye!